Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And as you can see, this big gigantic box next to me is what I'm reviewing tonight. And it's gonna be for the Battle Tanks Infrared Battle Tank Remote Control <laughs> Battle Tanks. Unbelievable, check that out guys. Again, huge box, very cool, definitely. But before I open this up guys, just like all my unboxing review videos, look in the description box below the video where you can see the link for this exact product. The seller is FunD Store, F-U-N-D Store. And again, the link is below. Anyway, without further ado guys, let's go ahead and open this up real quickly here. But before we do, we have 27 megahertz to 40 megahertz radio control tank rotational turret adjustable angle of cannon realistic electronic sounds and lights climbs up to 35 degrees wow so we have a 360 degree cannon turret the cannon moves up and down whoa boy check that out what does that say on there it's the same thing there very very cool guys okay here we go we got some graphics of uh, what you uh, what you get there we got the uh, battery pack and we got the charger and some 9 volt batteries etc etc anyway we'll get some of that boring stuff out of the way there and uh, unfortunately Amazon if you guys watch this review my box is a little bit bent right here Amazon you guys need to package your packages a little bit better that's not the store's fault that's fulfillment by Amazon's fault, unfortunately. So be careful, guys. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and get right into it. All right, guys, right as we open it up here, we got the Battle Tank Instruction Manual, Infrared Control, etc. Tells you all about your controllers, the battery pack, etc. We'll take a look at that a little bit more in just a second here, but let's go ahead and open this big box up here so we can get it going on the table here as we slide out of the box there there we go right there we got a nice empty box there let's get that out of the way wow look at that guys that's like that's like christmas time all over again would you take a look at that all right so up here at the top here oh it's a two tier <laughs> two tier look at that guys all right let's start with the bottom one first and then we'll go to the top one there alrighty guys so right here's the tank let's get the boring stuff out of the way first alright here we go guys right here we have the controller and again I'll get close-ups of all this again it says a 40 mil 40 mhz megahertz uh, controller there very cool there we'll just put that out of the way for a split second here we have the charger right there and let's take a quick gander both chargers are probably going to be the same and we're looking at a solid about two and a half foot from point to point there plugs right into your wall that's a us plug and then we have a nine volt battery very nice i always love when toys come with batteries that's something that they used to always do and they don't do it as much anymore so anything that comes with batteries is a winner by me. All right, then we have the rechargeable battery here, and I believe that's either for the controller or that's for the tank, I'm not exactly sure, but there's one right there. And then that looks to be it right there for that little slot. Now let's go ahead and get, okay, over here on this side is our little antenna for our remote control. It just screws in right on top like this. So we have a nice long antenna there, be able to reach. Very nice, guys, I like that. And the uh, controller definitely feels like a PS3, PS4 controller, you know, or even PS2, I guess, the shape of it and all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, again, we'll get close-up shots of that in a little bit here. All right, now, for this guy here, I'm not sure yet. We got a couple hooks here to keep it in place and not fall over. So let's go ahead and unscrew those little hooks here on the bottom. All right, now as you guys can see here, now that it releases, very, very cool. Make sure there's no little chargers or cables underneath there anywhere else. We're good to go. Now this one right here is a Desert Storm, Afghanistan, Kuwait type of camouflage. And the other one is gonna be more of US Army camouflage. Uh, we'll get to that one in just a second here. 
Very, very cool. Okay, this also says 40 MHZ on the bottom of this one as well. So I'm not sure if one is 40 and one is 27 because the box said 27 and 40. So maybe one is 27, maybe one is 40. Not exactly sure quite yet, but we'll get to that in a little bit here. And as we can see, we do need a small screwdriver, which it doesn't look like this comes with. We need to unscrew the battery pack container and then it has a little clip there to release that underneath the tank here. So we go ahead and pick that guy up. And there's our little antenna for our tank. This one's gonna be pretty much the same thing here. So I'm gonna probably fast forward. Again, our controller here. And this one says 27 MHZ on the bottom. So I'm not exactly sure what's up with that. But again, one says 27. That might just be the channel. So one's 27, one's 40. Yeah. Excuse me, that's just for the channel so you don't have interference with the channels. All right, there we go, guys. There's the other one out of the container there. Very cool. Let's go ahead and get that little antenna up there. Very cool. And again, this one is the camouflage green. Very, very nice. The treads on the bottom look very sweet. And again, it says it can go up to a 35 degree angle. Now here's something to keep in mind, guys. If you do buy more tanks for another one of your children and you wanna have four battle tanks, if you guys have a lot of kids, you want to buy, it says right here, please buy two or more than two tanks with different frequencies let you experience all new realistic battle tank. So again, I guess if you buy more, just make sure they're not the same frequency as this. This again is 27 and 40. All right guys, and there's just charging instructions, but that's pretty simple. Again, with your charger, you would just take your charger, plug it into the small little plug right here, plug that into your wall outlet. Probably needs a charge for a couple hours or something like that. Uh, this is, looks like rechargeable 4.8 volt 4 slash 5 AA 700 milliamps 4.8 volt. And there's four individual batteries in here that are rechargeable. All right guys, I've taken the little screw off the back cover and then that just comes off and it actually goes back on like that with the little screw. Just use a little screwdriver here. And now we're gonna take our nine volt battery right here. The nine volts are for the controller. And you're gonna go ahead and stick that bigger side up on top. You're gonna go in that way first. And then you're gonna go ahead and push down like that. And that will go ahead and clamp it in there real nice. Put the plastic piece back in there like that to the left. And then put it down to the right there. And then you go ahead and find your little screw wherever you put it. And we'll go ahead and screw that back in. So do that for each controller. And then we'll go ahead and hook up the tanks with the uh, batteries. And we'll go ahead and test out the controller and make sure the battery is in there and working. As we can see, our light is working there as we hit our buttons. Very nice. So we're gonna do that to the other controller and then the tanks. All right guys, same thing with the tank here. You just go ahead and remove the little plastic piece. There's a little screw. That comes down here. Now we see a little connector inside the tank right here that connects to your battery pack. You just connect that, and then we'll slip in our battery pack here. Just make sure you connect it the right way according to the little prongs in there. Real simple, clicks in like that, and we'll go ahead and put our battery pack inside this direction here so you don't bend your cord up all mangled up there. And then we'll go ahead and put back in our little piece here, and then that latches down and then what you want to do is then you want to grab your little screw and then you want to go ahead and screw that guy in nice and tight again let's go ahead and turn it on make sure we works okay we heard a little beep there so we are good to go on this tank now do the same thing for the other one and then it's time to play with them guys all right guys this is going to be a little demonstration for you guys here so how to start it you would push start over here you could just check out the demo but you push start, and then your tank will fire up. And each tank, you can see down here, each tank has four red lights. But every time you shoot the other person's tank, one light will go. And then once all four will go, the winner's tank will turn off, and the loser's tank will go, ah! But I'm going to show you the climbing capability over here as well. And so again, if you want to, you can updo your little controller like this. Now, how to make it go forward, both at the same time, forward. Here we go, we're gonna climb up, and then both back at the same time, and you're gonna go backwards. Now we can turn one direction here, 
one direction there. And then watch, I'll fire. My middle button is the fire. So I just shot her. And you heard a little, ah, ah, and you hear some nice engine roaring there. So I'm gonna shoot again. Oh, so she got me. Oh, I'll keep, oh, okay, oh, she's firing at me all the time now. So watch this, I'm gonna turn my, now I'm gonna turn my turn around here. Oh, 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 hey, that's cheating. Hey, so I'm gonna turn my turn, oh no, I'm dead. Because she just sat there and shot me. <laughs> okay, oh, here we go, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so all the lights are blinking now, that means I'm... Now I just fired up my cannon here. Now I'm gonna turn my turn left and fire. Now I'm gonna get out of here. And again, you turn your turn right, see that? And it goes 180 degrees, stops at the antenna, and then you gotta push this one all the way back around this way. Now, these are fake buttons here. The fire works, the start, and then just these up here for your turn. Again, going this direction, and then again, both these at the same time, upwards, and you go backwards. So I'm gonna show you the climbing capability here. Whoop, 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 hold on a second. Whoop, there we go, whoop, 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 whoop. A little hard to control, there we go, guys. Hey, look at that climbing, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's fire. Whoops, oh, did I stop it? Shoot, hold on. Let me, let me fire at her here. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And then you just jam out of town. And you just get going. Here we go, guys. All right, hold on, oh, oh, oh. Oh, she's messing up my ramp there. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, did you see that little gunshot? Look at the little gunshot come out here. How cool is that, guys? Infrared, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. I keep hitting the off button instead of the shoot button. Definitely fun, guys. <laughs> I think it takes a while before it starts reloading so you can't just uh, start shooting each other like that. Whoop, there we go. Okay, and whoops, where's my gun? Okay, there we go, whoop, whoop, whoop. That's my antenna is the back side. Here we go, let's flip that around and fire. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, no! baby. Thanks guys for watching. Two, one. All right guys, we're gonna put them in demo mode here. As you can see, mine here in the corner is doing rapid firing here. This is the demo mode here. Well guys, some definitely some cool, cool tanks, loads of fun. My wife and I played around with them for a good half an hour. And then we finally, the batteries died, so you do have to recharge them. Now again, that was with the batteries already shipped the way they were. We didn't charge them, we played for a good half an hour. Now we have to charge them back up. So my guess is you probably get more juice out of a fully charged battery. I highly doubt those batteries were fully charged upon shipping. So anyway, loads of fun, we had a great time. Again, look in the description box below for the link where you can pick these up yourself. Loads of fun and they definitely climbed up pretty good and they go all around and just overall just being a big kid again having a good time so if you guys know a kid a little brother sister your kids or even your husband or wife if you guys just want to play around have a good time these would be the ticket for you guys all right you guys have a wonderful night and please subscribe i got a lot more unboxing and review videos on the way a lot more products being sent to me and again look in the description box below have a good night guys bye bye